I'm very excited about the discovery I made here for separating blasting media that's been used from the dust that you created. So one of the issues I had was that all the blasting media in the dust would get separated by the cyclone. When I was just running a single cyclone, this one right here, uh, attached to this blasting cabinet and the, the exhaust from the blasting cabinet was coming in through the cyclone, going, going into the, the media was falling into the bucket and then the suction was coming from the vacuum cleaner over here. And this cyclone is like 99% efficient, or we measured it about 98.6% efficient. So it's very efficient and therefore it also collects all the fine dust that you want to separate from the blasting media, like all the paint and stuff that gets blasted off and the rust, it gets picked up by this cyclone. And so your media ends up being just full of fine dust. And even though you can reuse the media to some extent, it makes it very dusty inside of the sandblasting cabinet when you're trying to reuse this very dusty media. So my solution is to try to combine this very efficient dust cyclone with, with a much less efficient dust collector. And the idea being that this much less efficient dust collector is gonna collect the heavy stuff, like the blasting media, which is heavy, like sand and garnet. In this case, it's garnet I'm using, and or beads, glass beads. It's gonna fall in there, and then all the fine dust is, is, is not gonna get separated by that because it's inefficient. And it's gonna go into the more efficient one. It's gonna get separated by the more efficient cyclone. This dust separator, it's the W2049 dust separator. It's super cheap, like 19 bucks, but it's so stupid simple that it's really not that effective. It's not gonna pick up the fine dust. It's only gonna pick up the big particles. And you can see I already did one test of separating the media and it made a big difference. Here, this is already a lot more garnet and a lot less dust. There's still some fine dust in there, but I'm gonna run it through a few times to really get that fine dust out. And now, here in this one, it's really fine dust. There's no blasting media in here. And uh, this is some flour on top from some other process. But I mean, it's just like powder. There's not a single piece of garnet in here. So all this powder came through and it did a really good job of removing the blasting media. I don't feel a single piece of like heavy grit this is like confectionery sugar, even lighter than that. Did a really good job of removing that. And let's try again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it another time to see how much more I can get out of there. I'm going to empty this out first and show you later how much more I can get out of it. Here you can see when I tilt it, you'll see how much dust that is. It's a good bit of dust in there that got separated. Okay, so I switched buckets here and I now have a, I now have a, a clean bucket in this one and this is the used blasting media that's gone into the other cyclone and this is the second time I'm um, going to try to filter it using this pre-separator before the cyclone filter. Okay, so this is the second time I've passed it through and still a lot of dust, a lot of very fine dust and no garnet, no blasting media has made it through. And then inside this uh, dust separator, the inefficient one, it's looking cleaner and there's definitely, this is where all the garnet is. This is heavy stuff in here, but there's still some dust in there. So we're gonna do it again. Let's do it a few times. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap it with the other bucket here. Grab this bucket. And it would be more convenient if I had a hose here. I just don't happen to have an extra hose. All my hoses are tied up. So 
I'm using that rigid pipe for right now. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing again and keep trying to clean it. And you can see there's still stuff coming through, still fine dust coming through that cyclone. Aye. A lot of static electricity being generated by this. All right, so still more, more fine dust in here. Still no garnet, so no blasting media has made it. And in here, it's getting cleaner. So I'm just going to keep doing that until it cleans up quite a bit. And then, once I've cleaned up my media, I'm going to hook up this system to the blasting cabinet, and then hopefully it's going to pick up all the garnet in here, and then all the dust is going to go, or the majority of the dust is going to go into this uh, more efficient cyclone right away, so that I won't have to do these multiple filtrations of the media. Whoa. Later, I figured out that I could use this PVC connection here to connect from the dust separator, which is less efficient, to the dust cyclone, which is more efficient. And then I could use this hose that I had available um, to vacuum out the bucket. So it made it a lot easier to vacuum in here versus using that rigid hose. So that was uh, easier to clean up and do, uh, keep, keep switching the buckets and uh, keep removing the dust until quite a bit of dust was removed and the garnet is fairly clean now. Yeah, it looks like it. Look, it's pretty clean now. It's a lot cleaner than it was before. So still a little bit of dust, but I think that'll work its way out even better once I actually start using it in the sandblaster. In the bucket with a cyclone, you can really see how much dust we were able to remove from that garnet. It's mostly just dust just paint that was removed and stuff. So it's very fine, not a lot of, not a lot of abrasive in there, very minimal. They did a really good job of cleaning up.